Now, as you kids have returned to school, welcome back to school, everybody. My kids, we're still in summer vacation here at Bracken Cave, and we are about to check out the emergence of 20 million bats. And this is what it's all about. We are out here in the field experiencing nature, and they're about to see 20 million bats. Carson, if I had a dollar for every bat in that cave, we would have an amazing Christmas break, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would, but we don't. We have bats. So let's watch the emergence of some incredible, mighty mammals. Hey kids, did you know that bats are the only mammal on planet Earth they can fly? No. Well, learn more by subscribing to the channel. It's your dad's channel. What's going on here? <laughs> Today on the wild side, we are making a trip to Bracken Cave. Just north of San Antonio, Texas, it is home to an estimated 20 million Mexican free-tailed bats, making it not only the largest bat colony, but also the largest known concentration of mammals found anywhere on planet Earth. So right below my feet is the mouth of the cave. As you can see behind me, that's the observation area. Now right below me, and it might look like a beautiful, beautiful cave, but there's a hundred feet of bat guano built up over 10,000 years of bat poop. So when you go down there, there's a lot of guano. Another thing to watch out for is within the guano are flesh eating beetles. There are so many beetles cleaning up the cave floor cleaning up old and dead bats, but also cleaning up anything that may have fallen from the rooftop and helping to sort through that guano. The beetles are the farmers of the floor and the bats are the keeper of the ceiling. Inside, below my feet, is a perfect ecosystem for the largest colony of bats on planet Earth. Now, as we sit right in front of the mouth of this massive cave inside the sinkhole, I'm standing with a bat legend, a real life <laughs> bat man. This is my friend Fran from Bat Conservation International. Fran, what's your title with this organization? Clay, I'm the director of Bracken Cave Preserve. And what an amazing place this is. This is an ecological wonder. Now, you do a lot of conservation uh, with bats here at the preserve. What are some projects or some initiatives you're currently working on here at BCI? Well, our prim uh, primary thing is protection of Bracken Cave, which is a home to the largest colony of bats in the world. So that's our number one mission here at Bracken Cave. And a lot of school children right now are watching this on YouTube. Thanks for subscribing and watching, everyone. <laughs> but what are some things that a kid sitting in San Antonio or Austin or Houston or New York, mm -hmm. wherever they're watching from, what can they do to help bats in the natural environment? Well, I, the first thing is learning about bats and understanding uh, their benefits to us and their, and also knowing the myths that are about bats. For example, a lot of people think bats are blind and none of our 1400 plus species of bats are blind and they're not all blood sucking creatures like they see on TV and the movies. Uh, bats are really important to our environment. They're insectivores. So for example, this colony tonight's going to eat 147 tons of bugs. Oh my gosh. So that is really beneficial to our farmers in the area. Um, and they're also really important for seed dispersal, our fruit eating bats. So, okay, so they help spread those seeds throughout the environment. And I hope you've learned through this episode as we've talked all these bat facts with the real life bat man, Fran here, seed dispersers, these animals are pollinators. These animals are pest controllers. So don't be afraid of the bat. Don't fear those fangs. These animals are out to help you in the natural environment and you can help out more. Uh, if someone wants to learn more about BCI, where are some places they can uh, learn more about your organization? Uh, the first place to go is to our webpage, batcon.org. And so there's lots of information about bats, all the work we're doing all over the world to protect bats and their habitats and the research. Um, so that's a really good place to start, plus Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, so that's where we're at. So like us there. We, um, becoming a member of Bat Conservation International helps support all the work that we do and protect this 1,500 acre preserve here in San Antonio, Texas. So here we are, we're mere minutes away from the emergence of the largest colony of bats on planet Earth with Bat Conservation International, so stay tuned because the Batnado it's coming. It's coming. Call Annie M. It's coming through. <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit, everybody. So what you're about to see is something found nowhere else on planet Earth. I, I can't stress that enough. 
close to 20 million Mexican free tail bats are going to vortex up and out and then head into the southeast. Folks, this is the largest concentration of mammals found anywhere on planet Earth. So the emergence is happening right as we're speaking. And as you look behind me, 20 million Mexican free-tailed bats are about to make their way almost 60 miles from here, or a little more. In one night, these animals can have a round trip. Take a look at this hawk. Boom, look at the predators that are flying in. These predators are coming in to take out a little bit of these bats. You gotta understand, these Mexican free-tailed bats are the size, if you put your two thumbs together, that's the size of the bat. There are hawks all around us getting ready to pounce on these bats. Now tonight, these animals are going to make a record. Each day they do that. The Mexican free-tailed bat is the fastest mammal on planet Earth. Did you hear me right, cheetah experts? What? This is the fastest mammal on planet Earth, flying with a tailwind at about 100 miles an hour. They are built for speed. Their short fur, their tight wings, their aerodynamic body style. Look at this amazing speed behind me. You are looking at a nature spectacle. Now these Mexican free-tailed bats are vortexing and getting ready to move onto their hunting path. They're going out and looking for moths. They're gonna hit the crop fields of around South Texas. This cave alone tonight could eat over 250 tons of insects in one night. They are the best pest control on planet Earth. Now again, 1,400 different species of bat. These are looking for insects. Others look for pollen. Others look for seeds and fruit. And only three looking for blood. And of those three, only one are looking for your blood. So as you can see, these bats are moving out to feed, but they'll be back. But once the fall hits, October starts getting a little colder, they're gonna move and primarily live in, in Mexico until February where they return right here to Bracken Cave to start the process all over again. 10 million mommy bats will come back and 20 million will emerge as they are tonight. Folks, this is an amazing experience and I have to thank Bat Conservation International and particularly I have to thank Fran for allowing us to come out here and show you the wild side of Mexican free-tailed bats. So until next week everyone, stay wild. This is conservation and we'll see you next week when we highlight yet another of your favorite species. Until then, I think I'm gonna join these bats in a meal of moths. Away we go. Amazing, even after the sun has now set and we're in the twilight hours, and you can still hear the bats. You might not be able to see them as well, but you can still hear the hum. And you know, it's incredible that wildlife, even in 2021, still has the ability to be this awesome. And it just takes your eyes and your experiences to go out and see this. This is nature, this, this is the wild side.